Hello, welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. Today we're near Angukyeok in Jongno area and we're at a cafe called Cafe Sudar. Sudar means otter. It's like their little mascot. Some background, this place does outsource their beans from Colombia and they also roast them here. There's the machine right over there. I think this place does focus on like the quality of their coffee too, even though it is supposed to be one of those Instagram little spots. And a Apparently, when I was looking through their Instagram, they said it's a good place to go to when it's raining. And coincidentally, it's raining right now. And there's a lot of cafes in this area. Signature drinks and food. The croffle, it had like cheese sprinkled on top of it. On top of ice cream and sesame powder, raspberry syrup. Tastes a lot like the strawberry shortcake ice cream bars. Or if you've had the tejipa in Korea, it tastes a lot like that. Even the texture is very like a pop cereal. What's the one that's like a rice grain? It's just like plain. Like rice crispy cereal. The matcha affogato was pretty basic, honestly. It's just what you'd expect from it. At least it wasn't too sweet, which I appreciated. My drink, it's sweet, but I'm not sick of it sweet. What I like is the sweetness doesn't overpower the coffee taste. And you can still taste the coffee. Like it doesn't give me a headache, which I think is really important. Because why would you? order a coffee it's just gonna taste sweet you might as well just get like a milk tea I guess food was I I think the drinks are definitely their main selling point I think my drink was the best to be honest the toffee nuts also pretty good but the orange Bianco you can't really taste the orange it's just like orange pulp it's like that other place that we went to no comments I'm gonna beat your ass. <sighs> It's okay, we're almost done with this series. Anyway, I think if the food was better, I would give it a 5. 4.75. Work accessibility? I don't see any outlets here. Just some middle strip table. People are not even doing work there, and it's not really like a work vibe place, because it's so busy. I think this place does get crowded pretty easily, because it's pretty popular. Because everywhere else, the tables are either too like short or too small. I'm going to give it a 1. Not a place you come to do work. Let's see, like, read a book or something. Aesthetics. So this place is Hanok themed, but it's also like kind of modern and it has like records and stuff. Yeah, like vintage Hanok, but modern. They try to put like plants everywhere. It's cute. I like their mascot. That's my favorite thing. Like the design too. And like the silver, like the plates and cups. I don't know if it really matches, honestly. I don't think it goes well with the rest of the place. We'll say 4.5. Uniqueness. I think like where they source their beans from and stuff that adds to the uniqueness factor. Also their mascot and they have a lot of like merch. They even sell their own beans too and they have cups and a little coffee bean grinder thing. I mean if you're big on coffee this is a good place to go. Clearly they know what they're doing when they make their coffee and it's not some like basic flavor. It's very rich and well balanced. You order from a machine Machine. None of the other cafes that we went to did that. So if you don't want to talk to a person, this is a great place to go to. I usually only like big chain restaurants have the self-order kiosk. It's probably because they're busy too. 4.75. Last but not least, the bathrooms. It's clean. I like how they're little. There's usually a sign that says don't throw toilet paper in the toilet. But then this, the sign had their mascot on it too. I thought that was cute. But nobody else agrees with me, so. It's felt so f stupid. The girls' bathroom has like a mirror. There's a button where you can turn on the backlighting on the mirror. But it's a very narrow bathroom. You're sitting, your knees are on the wall. <laughs> we'll settle for 3.5. Phrase, modern vintage Hanok. Overall, just a cute place to go if you want to go somewhere. Pretty good drinks, okay food take your friends out here. Anything else to add? ray -san? Nope. I don't even know why we take him out to these things. That's why I don't come here. He was forced today. Yeah. No. Just trying to figure out how I can ruin Ray's life. Thank you for tuning in to day 23. Two more days left. And then I'm quitting YouTube. Bye.